at least Kanye is coming out with clothing that it's just like, hey, dude, you could be 400 pounds and it doesn't matter. Those jackets from The Gap? Sure. Congratulations. Uh, you, you, you can do whatever you want in those Panty things. Pantyhose on the face. It's like, dude, who cares? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like anyone can look like Kanye, basically. Speaking of which, he is living out of the Atlanta Falcon Stadium still. Oh, yeah, because he's insane. Yep. Um, and you, we're all just giving him a platform to be insane. Do you know how much they're charging him per day? No. One million dollars a day. He's been there for two weeks. Uh, that album is supposed to come out in two days. Not a prayer. Why is that happening, though? Not is a there prayer. A explanation that makes sense. Creatively, it? he said he felt after that last performance that he should finish the album inside the stadium. So he's currently living out of like one of the locker rooms. Ross, so, so, so you're saying it's a million dollars a day for this, and he's not even staying on the floor? Correct. Like, like he's paying a million dollars for that. He's, yeah, yeah, did you see the room? Bob, pull up his room inside of uh, uh, Atlanta Falcon Stadium. They took a picture of it. It's very jail cellish. I mean, there's no windows or anything. I mean, you're in the fucking bottom of the stadium. I've, I've been down there. It's cool to see there's like a fan going by, and you're like, all right, great. That's where the players get dressed, and then they leave. No one sleeps there. So No, it's... It's insane behavior. It is. Uh, Tommy Rodriguez just gave us 569. Very specific for some steel reserve. Oh. That's nice. Uh, oh, he said the 69 is for Ross's favorite position. It is. It is. Thank you very much. Oh, my gosh. Craig with a throwback. My revolutionary figure. Of the day is Giorgio. It's Giorgio. Do you remember revolutionary figure? We used to do it all the time, but then we're on episode 700 and whatever. Sure. There's not too many revolutionary people in the world. There's Kanye's uh, revolutionary bedroom there inside Atlanta Falcon Stadium. Very, very similar to a prison, you know? But Except here's you, you get a TV. Thing. No wife, no kids. Mm-hmm. That looks like a dream hotel to me. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? TV. <laughs> TV only. Unlimited. Concession stand yep. food. Yeah. Unlimited yep. stadium Thank you. food. Unlimited stadium <laughs> So the beauty of it is, uh, Bob, I'm going to ask you to pull up one more picture. There is games going on because the Falcons aren't starting there until preseason's pre not until uh, two weeks in. But the MLS team is there. Um, and... He walked out from underneath the stadium and then just sat with random people in the crowd but with he was the pantyhose over his face. Pantyhose and the, <laughs> and the red puffy everything. And that's when I was like, oh. But he's just having a normal conversation with like, there yep, it is. <laughs> right there. Where he's on his phone right next to. Lord knows who. I mean. <laughs> Look at that girl is like. And the guy? The guy is just like, what world are we living in, dude? What world is this? The guy's this? like, well, <laughs> this is how I'm watching the game now. I was hoping to... At least he's wearing the, team, yuck it the up. team colors. Is sure. Kanye black Bill Murray? Not yet. Not yet. No. Uh, but oh, you can no. see that maybe later on in life. No. The black Bill Murray is probably Andre 3000. Yeah, yeah but like Three Bill steps. Murray is not, from what I understand... An insane person, right? So yeah, Bill Murray's making choices. Yeah, <laughs> exactly right. He's making choices. He is. That's how he's able to move through, go to a, a college party, and then hang out with someone at a dive bar because he doesn't have that scary component of possibly being psycho, right? 